Hey everyone, this is Tom Kraz. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing my series on how to learn common capture the flag Linux exploits using the damn vulnerable web application platform. Today we'll take a look at SQL injection. So you'll find all links mentioned in the description below, including my installation of the DVWA environment. So let's log in using the default username and password, which is admin and password. And we hop into the security level. Make sure it's set to low. Submit. Back into SQL injection. And we're presented with uh, a form where we're asked to put in the user ID. If we type in the user ID of one, we're given back some information. First of all, for the user ID we put in, uh, first name and then surname. We can, if we take a look at the URL, you can see that the ID that we typed into the form is actually sent via a GET request using the URL. And this is actually what we can modify. So, so in order to get an SQL injection, we have to type in the one plus R1 equals one. So let me explain this. So we need to put the single quote in in order to close off the original quote the original SQL command, we can see the SQL command by opening up the source code at the bottom of the page. And you can see that it's, it has a couple of things here. So it checks, first of all, is it set that the submit flag is in the URL? And we can see that it is, it's here. Then if that's successful, it sets the ID, which it pulls in from here into a PHP variable called ID and then it runs a select query. Select first name, last name from users where ID, user ID equals whatever was in this ID variable. So what we can do here is we can add, a, add our injection piece right here inside the URL. Uh, the rest of the script goes on to just print out the uh, data onto the HTML. Okay, so couple of things we can do here. So we close off the original request where the ID equals one and we add this second piece where it says R1 equals one. So it checks if the ID is one or if one is equal to one. So as one is always equal to one, this should result in the in outputting everything from that table. Um, we also need to add a comment field to make sure everything else is excluded from this form. So in case that the PHP is injecting something at the end. So in my MySQL, MarioDB, comment is a double double a hyphen followed by a space. We put a third hyphen in, so it makes it obvious that we're putting in a uh, space. And we'll put a semicolon to close it off and hit and submit. And we can see that worked perfectly. It allows us to view all of the accounts and not just the one where the user ID is. So we can see admin, Gordon, Hack, Pablo, and Bob. Okay, uh, let's up the difficulty. Let's change it to medium and submit. Now, now we're presented with a different page. So now we don't have the form box that we can type into. We only have a drop down list where we could submit. And our URL doesn't have any of the uh, information that we had the last time. There's no variables being assigned. So we can select any of these and click submit, but we can't modify it. Or can we? So inside Firefox, Chrome and Edge have a similar feature. We've got an inspect field. So if we open up the inspect tab and we go into the network tab and then we select a new number and we click submit, we can see that it was sent using a post request. And over here, let's make this a little bit bigger. We can see what the actual contents of the post request is. So this is a list of the headers. So for a post request, uh, there's not really much in here to tell us only that it's a post. But if we look at the request itself, we can actually see what was submitted. Let's change it to raw data. So we can see that the ID was set to two and, and submit was set to submit. So in order to, um, I suppose, beat this vulnerability, how do we do this? Firefox has a nice feature where you can edit and resend a request. So let's edit and resend this request and browse down to the body where we actually have the submit. And instead of the number, let's just put in one or one equals one and put in our quote as well. And let's send it. Um, 
so this page isn't actually updated after you do it you've got to right click it and select open in a new tab and bingo we have beaten it and we have all of our information out again so using a post request and using the inspect and resending um, post requests via Firefox you can actually input your SQL injection code okay let's do the last one uh, change the security to hard sorry hi submit back into the SQL injection and let's just refresh this page this seems to be something wrong with this let's take a look at the inspect a little bit of troubleshooting maybe go into is it storage cookies no okay so we have to click here to change your ID so let's submit this window pops up once you click that link let's uh, submit ID equals one same thing first name last name regardless that the security is set to hard this is actually the same as the first one you do one and you close off the quote and then you put in a condition an or condition where one equals equals one and then again you close off with a comment and and, and submit and that works as well so now we have a command injection you uh, you can also use this to enumerate the database get table names information about the columns and what's in the columns but that's not something I'm going to cover here maybe in a later video my name is Tom Kraz thank you very much for joining and I'll talk to you guys all later bye bye